right. Uh, Rocket, you guys got Brandon Wilds starting to tell back. Uh, what has he shown you in practice? Is he a little bit different to block for than Marcus was? Uh, just how is he adjusting? Um, he's doing pretty well. Um, I'm, you know, I can't really see what's going on behind him. But uh, from the looks of it, it looks like he got the same flash as Marcus has. Uh, hitting the holes hard. We're just trying to open them up. But uh, we're going to try to protect him like we do 21. It's the same thing. Common goal is to win football games. We're going to try to do Okay. How has the uh, loss of the Kyle Lund affected what you guys do? And do uh, you think you're going to be able to make up with his absence as, as, as the season plays out? Um, yeah, we're going to miss Kyle. You know, we fought hard. We um, fought through a lot of battles together. The starting five that was in the first couple of games. So. But the only adjustment, I think, is everybody like switching positions. Uh, not necessarily the total position, but just the side. So uh, we get used to me being on the left side or, you know, different guys being on different sides. But other than that, we're going to keep fighting like we've been doing. Uh, come to practice every day, get it in, get, get a good grind going, and uh, hopefully it'll show up on Saturday. How has the move from the right side to the left side uh, been for you? Is it sort of different steps you got to take and different responsibilities? How's it go from the right to the left? Um, it's just like going from right hand to left hand, pretty much. Um, it, it wasn't really a big change because I was ripping it all through camp and all through practice, so it really hasn't been a big change. Other than that, it was just uh, doing it at live game speed and on Saturdays. But uh, other than that, no, it's not a really big change. When you switch positions, you're also lining up with a different guy beside you. How does that affect the continuity of the line when you're essentially bringing two new guys in because you're switching spots? So, Cody comes in at right tackle. Um, it changes a little bit because you kind of got used to, uh, you know, it might be a play where the movement is different. And um, you might expect that when you was on the other side because you did it for so long on that side. Once you change, it might be uh, it might be a bit of a difference. But once you get it going, it, it picks right back up. You the rate overall player in lineman of the year at this point. What would you rate 10 feet high one on the 10? Uh, that's not my job. I uh, probably have to ask Coach Elliott that. Um, I rated as best as I could as uh, coming out there to the proving ground. That's as far as I can rate. Uh, Saturday, I mean, last Saturday against uh, Mississippi State, tight situation. The team offense comes together and makes the drive. Uh, what does the hammer to drive like that do for the confidence of the offense? Um, I think it does a lot uh, because, I mean, really our confidence is always there. And we always feel like we can put points up on the board. but. Uh, it really just, I think we, uh, I really think we can perform well on a little bit of pressure, but um, we just know when to try to get it done. We're going to try to get it done every time it, it needs to be done, which is most of the, well, pretty much 100% of the time. But, uh, nah, it's just, yeah, we just, you know, we're going to keep fighting. Thank you. Rokivius, just talk about going into a pretty hostile <clears throat> environment in Knoxville with a freshman running back behind you and relatively, you know, not inexperienced quarterback, but certainly uh, not the guy you started with. Uh, do you anticipate uh, getting quite a challenge from Tennessee's defense because uh, they know about uh, your situation on offense? Um, Tennessee is a very good team. Uh, I actually got a lot of friends that play for Tennessee, but uh, yeah, they're a really good team. But we can't worry about what Tennessee is doing. We worry about what the game is doing. And, uh, Basically, with a freshman running back behind us, we're just going to take him up under our wings since we got a little bit more experience. Uh, take him up under the wing and try to protect him as best we can. We're going to open up the holes, um, try to get him in the end zone as much as possible. You mentioned the uh, confidence of the offense. What about the confidence of Connor after um, starting these last two games and getting wins, especially um, uh, the way the Mississippi State game was won? Have you seen a, an increase in his confidence? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, the star five took it upon themselves to get in Connor's ear um, for each and every game that he's played um, and let him know that we got his back. It's not necessarily uh, us versus Garcia or uh, nothing like that. We all want to be family. And, uh, yeah, his confidence went up because we were able to come to him every, every Friday night and Saturday morning and let him know that we got his back and we fight for him. So he can be able to stand in the pocket comfort. Kibius, <coughs> how, how much during the off week, uh, the downtime, what you guys talk about what's ahead, the goals out there, staying in front in the SEC East, kind of grinding towards the finish? Uh, <clears throat> we put a big emphasis on uh, 
juicing up a little bit. You know, everybody came back from the bye week, which is used the bye week is for getting relaxation, getting your legs up back up on you. But uh, yeah, we talked about that. We actually uh, called for this meeting yesterday, and I uh, took it upon ourselves to sit there and talk about everything that we need to do. But uh, the main focus was Tennessee. So we're going to get ready for Saturday at 7 15 to try to get it done. Coach Spurrier has uh, been talking about how Marcus has been attending practices. He's going to make the road trip to Tennessee. Is that kind of, um, I don't know, maybe reassuring to the team? Because sometimes when a guy like that has an injury and he kind of disappears a little bit, you know, when he's not there. So is that inspirational or just reassuring to know that he's still part of the team? It's inspirational, but it's not a surprise at all. I don't, I'm not surprised by that for Marcus. Marcus is that type of guy that, uh, you know, no matter what the situation is, he's going to always fight and be there with us. Uh, do every part that he can. And now uh, we know how bad he want to be out there, so we're going to try to do it for him and all the rest of the guys who lost him, Garcia included. Um, the offense has sort of taken a, a, a beating this season, not just from media, fans, Coach Spurrier, but I mean, hasn't the offense done, I mean, in every game but one, the offense has done enough to get it done, right? It's not my call. <laughs> not my call at all. Um, all I can do is come practice on Monday, Listen to what Coach Bird and Coach Ellis tell me I did wrong and uh, what I need to critique and fix up, and that's all I can do. And try to get my other four guys that's fighting with me uh, in the position to be ready to play as best we can. That's all I can do. Does the team do a Halloween party? And if so, who, who's had the best costume to perform? <laughs> There's got to uh, be somebody in there. Nah, I haven't heard nothing about a Halloween party, but uh, if we did, uh, I would play Rick Ross. Um, <laughs> um, got a couple guys that can be a whole bunch of different characters, especially Asian type characters. But uh, not, I ain't heard nobody about the Halloween party, but if you would, it would be a real fun deal. <laughs> <laughs> Why Rick Ross? You said what now? Why Rick Ross? Uh, Looks like him. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah it would be a fun deal, though. For QBs, at this point of the season, do you guys at all kind of, you, you obviously know where Georgia is and, and, and where they stand in the SEC East race. Do you kind of pay a little extra attention? I mean, maybe after the Mississippi State game, did you guys check in on that Georgia Vandy game to see what would happen? And are you going to follow, you know, what the Bulldogs do at all down the stretch? Absolutely not. No. Okay. Absolutely right. not. We didn't think twice. We didn't think about, uh, Get some chewing gum and keep our ears from popping on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> and watching, watching film on Tennessee. That's it. Anything else, bro? Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs>